Example two, is y equals 3x plus 7 a function? Well, one way to approach this is using the vertical line test. But in order to do that, I need to be able to graph this function. So what I'm going to do is assign some values for x, determine what y is, and generate some ordered pairs. So if x is negative 2 and I plugged it into this equation, I would get negative 2 times 3 is 6 plus 7, so I would get y equals 1. And if I did that for multiple values, I would actually come up with a table that gives me some ordered pairs, minus 2, 1, negative 1, 4, 0, 7, and 1, 10. Okay, now that I have these ordered pairs, I can graph this, this relation, which is also possibly a function, and then I can use the vertical line test. So my first point is negative 2, 1. My second point is negative 1, 4. My third point is 0, 7. It's going to be about up here. And then my third point is 1, 10, which is going to be way up. So if I were to connect these, then what I would see, actually don't quite have room for that, so just working with these three points, since that, that fourth point would actually be off the screen, um, working with these three points, that's enough to draw a line, and what I see is that no matter where I draw a vertical line, it only crosses the graph at one point. So no matter where I draw a vertical line, it only crosses at one point. Therefore, this describes an equation where each element of the first set is unique. There, there's not going to be two ordered pairs that have the same first element or the same x value. So this passes the vertical line test, and this is a function. Yes, this is a function. In example 3, let f of x 